Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more Failure Friday here in NHL 18. I hope everyone is having a spectacular Friday. Let's see if we can hit 300 likes this episode. I know we are more than capable of doing so. So go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at our first clip. If there's one thing that is kind of a bummer in NHL 18, it's that if you score and go down, you don't have the ability to celebrate. And I'll let this guy do all the talking. So in this clip, Marner scores off a one-timer, and when he celebrates, he just lays on the ground. He doesn't even get up. It's kind of hilarious. She's just sitting there. Yeah, I feel like that's happened to me before because I, I know I've seen guys go down and just not get up for celebrations, like lay flat on their back. And it is funny, but it kind of makes you feel a little bit bad for them that after scoring a goal, they just don't get that privilege to celebrate. But oh, well, it happens, I guess. But on to the next one. So in this next clip, we got a guy going for a goalie goal. And he's going to end up skating up, right? We see he's got the puck. He's going to go up, take the shot. Oh, it's saved. Oh, but he's still going to get credit for the goal anyway since it was knocked in by a defender. How lucky is that? I mean, you go for it because why not? And you still get it anyway because it go the, the defender puts it in his own net. I thought that was a pretty funny clip and definitely had to include it into this week's episode. Now, this next clip was pretty odd. At least, I found it as odd. So, this guy, I believe he's playing be a pro. At least, that's what it looks like. So, he's the goalie, I'm assuming. And he gets a shot on him, right? Makes the blocker save. And who other than Kreider comes in and hits him? But he literally went flying. I don't think I've seen a goalie go that far in regular like in a regular game i've seen it in threes but i don't think i've seen it in a game i think it was be a pro i'm not sure it looked like he was controlling him so i'm assuming it was be a pro that's my guess but nonetheless he was the goalie and of course he gets hammered by Kreider and literally went flying he got air there but thank you for submitting that clip i i really did enjoy that one so thank you very much all right, so for our next clip, I definitely have to commentate over this one because it is very uh, hard to comprehend what's going on. So we see there's a delayed penalty. The net gets emptied, right? He's going to go back, loses the puck, but watch what happens. The whole period just reset to 20 minutes, and it still says delayed penalty. There's five guys on the ice, right? And the goalie's going back to the net, or to the bench, excuse me. And he's going to end up passing it up, right? Going to take it into the zone. The other team's going to get it, but the play still keeps on going. And he's going to score an empty net goal. Like, if that is not the definition of BS, I don't know what is. I really was just at a loss for words from that. I mean, that was just pure BS. I would be furious if that was me playing. I would be absolutely furious because of that. But I am so sorry that happened to you. I hope you were able to come back and win that game. I mean, it gave you some time. I want to know if you still got the penalty. Like, if you still got that power play. That's what I would like to know. But, um, because I... I just, I, that's that's real BS. I mean, I'm at a loss for words. I really don't know how to explain that other than BS. I would not have been happy if I was you there, but oh well, it happens. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this edition of Failure Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. And thank you all for watching. Peace.